everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shanti. Today's video is gonna be three of my favorite Instant Pot side dish recipes. The first one is stewed tomato lentils, which I think I'm gonna coin the name pizza lentils for this recipe because they really do taste like pizza, but way healthier pizza, obviously. The second recipe I'm gonna share with you guys is cheesy broccoli quinoa, and the third recipe is garlic chive mashed potatoes. All three of these recipes are super healthy and delicious, and of course they are all vegan, and they are super easy to make in your Instant Pot with just a few ingredients. Let's jump straight into the video. Here are three easy recipes you can make in your Instant Pot. First, for my pizza lentil recipe, you will need one pound of green or brown lentils. If you are using these small green lentils from Trader Joe's, those cook way faster than regular ones in the store, so you'll have to adjust the timing of the recipe. Next, add in one yellow onion diced, two cloves of minced garlic, two cups of tomato sauce, crushed tomatoes also works great in this recipe, one tablespoon of Italian herb seasoning, a pinch of black pepper, and you can add in red pepper flake, but this is optional. Next, add in four cups of water or veggie broth for more flavor. Next, hit manual and set the timer to 15 minutes. If you are using small green lentils, like I mentioned earlier, make sure you only do 10 minutes or else they will be way too mushy and overcooked. When the timer has gone off, make sure you do a natural release, which takes about 15 minutes. Give it a good stir. And this is optional, but to really bring out the pizza flavor, I added some vegan mozzarella cheese on top. I really have been loving the Trader Joe's brand of vegan mozzarella. It is my favorite lately. So I sprinkled that on top and I covered it for about five minutes to let the cheese melt. And that is it. This recipe is seriously so easy. And I make this at least once a week to have after a gym session. It has so much protein and fiber and, and is super healthy and easy to make. This cheesy broccoli quinoa recipe has been a go-to for about the last month now. I've been making this recipe so much because it is so cheesy and delicious. You will need one cup of quinoa, one cup of water, one cup of non-dairy milk such as almond or soy. I also found that oat milk works really good in this recipe and is super creamy. Next, add in one quarter cup of nutritional yeast, a quarter to a half teaspoon salt depending on your taste preferences, a pinch of black pepper, and one half teaspoon of onion powder. Next, add in one clove of minced garlic. Give that a stir, cover, make sure you set the valve to sealing, and cook this on manual high pressure for 10 minutes. Once the 10 minutes is up, do a quick release. Add in one cup of broccoli. Make sure you really finely chop it into tiny little chunks. This will make sure it cooks faster and evenly. Add in one half cup of vegan cheese, give that a good stir and then cover the lid back on. Keep the setting on keep warm and cover for an additional five to six minutes until the cheese is melted and the broccoli is cooked. Since the quinoa will still be hot after the quick release, the broccoli will cook super fast if you chop it in small enough pieces without having to turn the pressure cooker back on. Because I find if you put the broccoli in while the quinoa is cooking, it will be way too mushy and gross. So this is the best method I've found for cooking broccoli and quinoa in the same dish. This next recipe is my favorite way to make healthy, fat-free mashed potatoes. For this recipe, you will need two pounds of gold potatoes. I am using these ones on the smaller side. They're no more than one and a half inches. And this makes it really easy because you don't have to chop them up beforehand. So add in two pounds of gold potatoes right into the Instant Pot with one and a half cups of water. Cook those on manual for 10 minutes and do a natural release for about 20 minutes. After the natural release is up, make sure you drain out the water in the bottom of the pan and rinse the potatoes off with cool water so they cool down. This method makes it really easy to peel the potatoes just by hand without using a peeler. However, I like to leave some of my skins in the mashed potatoes so I only peeled about half the batch and I left the skins on the rest. Next, turn off the keep warm function and turn the instant pot onto saute function. Once the pot has heated up a little bit, add in two cloves of minced garlic 
and add in about a tablespoon of water to make sure the garlic doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Once the garlic has cooked for about three minutes, add in your potatoes. Next, mash them really roughly with the back of a spoon. This next step is crucial in getting good mashed potatoes because you don't want there to be too much moisture when you add the potatoes. So that's why I'm just doing a rough chop and keeping it on saute function so that that moisture evaporates. And you wanna let them dry out just a little bit. Next, add in a quarter teaspoon of black pepper and about a half a teaspoon of salt or more to your taste preferences. Next, add in one cup of almond milk or your choice of plant milk and give that a good mash with a potato masher. Also, pro tip, if you put your mashed potatoes through a food processor, you will get the fluffiest consistency. It is one more appliance to clean at the end of the day, but you will get the fluffiest mashed potatoes if you use a food processor. Lastly, add in two tablespoons of fresh chives. Give that a good mix and your mashed potatoes are ready to serve. This is seriously my favorite mashed potato recipe because it is not laden with a bunch of butter and fat. It is just really healthy and has so much flavor. Well, there you guys go. Those are my three easy Instant Pot side dish recipes. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it and you wanna see more Instant Pot recipes or vegan videos, make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up so I know. Make sure you subscribe before you leave by hitting that red subscribe button down below. I post videos twice a week, sometimes, on Tuesdays and Saturdays. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss my next video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.